Hey, it's Mike and Betty Ann from Rolling Into Retirement. About 10 years ago, we came up with this plan to retire at the age of 66, so we made it. And along with our blog, Rolling Into Retirement, we created a YouTube channel called Rolling Into Retirement Itself. And what are we gonna cover? We're gonna document our RV adventures, reviews of RV parks we've visited, and some walk-arounds of the campgrounds we liked. All with a little food and wine thrown in. Of course. So today's video, we're here on uh, Indian River Boulevard along the Indian River, and what we're gonna be doing is taking a little walk on a gorgeous day uh, Betty Ann and Nina and I, and we'll just kind of point out some things as we go along. Stay tuned. So one of the first places we're coming across is Mulligan's Bar and Grill. Uh, great little restaurant any time of the day uh, they have uh, not outdoor seating so to speak but all their tables on the perimeter of the restaurant are on the water a uh, beautiful day like this I'm sure they've got a pretty good group of people there there is a marina attached to it and just past Mulligan's is a, a public I believe it's a public law boat launch ramp. We'll, we'll see yeah. when we get close to it. Looks like a crowd at Mulligan's today. Yep. I heard some manatees were in here last week. Going around Mulligan's. Okay. The manatees will come in closer to shore in the Indian River when the water gets cold, they'll find their way into the back bay, back part of the river, and into the little canals. Oh, bicycle repair shop right yeah. there. <laughs> Just in case. Okay, it is Indian River Drive. I think I've been calling it Indian River Boulevard. Uh, that's a parking area for the launch to launch your boat. And as we come up, we see Mulligan's Beach House. Mulligan's also has a, uh, a restaurant down in Vero itself. We're actually here in Sebastian, but down in Vero Beach itself. Uh, they, and there, it actually, they do have a tiki bar out on the water it's, that you can sit right on the little sand. So this is actually the Sebastian Yacht Club. If I don't know, well, it says Municipal Yacht Club, so I'm assuming you yeah, can, anybody. you can, anybody can launch. I don't know if you need to pay. Have to go on our list of 10 best days. Yeah. We've had a lot of them. Yeah. Just stand the list to 20. Most of the houses that are along the drive here, I shouldn't say most, I don't really know the answer, but many have docks attached for them across the way. You'll see signs that will say private dock. Now across the way is Pelican Island. I'll, I'll work up and get a picture of that. see across the way Pelican Island. We were in the Pelican Island the other day. Uh, did a video on a walk around of Pelican Island. A couple of 
couple of beautiful homes. This is the same drive once a, once a year around Christmas. Sebastian holds its annual Christmas parade here in the evening. And they have lots of floats that go by. Terrific uh, evening. We didn't make it this year, but we were here last year. Now we're coming up to the Tiki Bar. Tiki Bar is an outdoor bar. Uh, one of the more popular hangouts. We're gonna take a little walk into the parking lot here. Head up to the river. Tiki bar on Thursday nights is our spot for karaoke. Great evening. In the middle of the winter, you can sit down. And here's the tiki bar. Yeah, this is the local, as Betty Ann just said, this is the local shipwreck. People come and take pictures, especially at night when the moon is coming up and the moon is out bright. Incidentally, in this direction, when we're here at the Tiki Bar, there have been nights where there's been a launch uh, from Cape Canaveral, and we can actually see the launch from here. Cape Canaveral is about an hour away, but you can actually see the stream of it for sure and usually the first stage or whatever they call that when it uh, detaches and this is the front area of Tiki Bar we inside there we'll take you in the back to the Tiki Bar area Food here is actually pretty good. We've had it many nights on karaoke night. This is the uh, Old Town Sebastian Historic District. How do I know that? It says it right on the sign to my left. Right now we're coming up to Main Street on the left, which uh, if you make a left and go up Main Street, it'll take you to the town uh, uh, City Hall and uh, head out towards the Sebastian Golf Course. Another public launch ramp. And heading through this parking lot that people drop their trailers off. You can see lots of boats out today on a beautiful day. They were right up here before. So Betty Ann's found a couple of white pelicans. Oh, there, there, are, there are two more I noticed on the other side. Oh, now there's three. There's a third. There were two on the other side of the launch walking over. Just a gorgeous day to take a walk along Indian oh, River yeah, Drive. Beautiful. Oh, the boats, people out in the boats. Just another day in paradise. Yep. <laughs> just uh, Nina, Betty Ann, and I just taking our time. Got a gentleman here launching his jet, jet ski. ski. Yeah. So let's take a walk through the City of Sebastian Rotary Club Boardwalk. We're heading out 
towards the Indian River and across the way there's a few little islands that people bring their boats up to and you can see A1A and across that is of course the Atlantic Ocean Coming up now to another popular restaurant here in Sebastian on Indian River Drive. It's called Mobe Grill. Betty Ann and I have been here before. Excellent restaurant. And incidentally, these restaurants that we're talking about, I'll put links in the description below to them so you can kind of look up their menus. And then we're coming up on just take a peek, it says no Earl's parking. We're coming up on Earl's Hideaway Lounge, just known as Earl's. Uh, we actually have not been in here yet. It's supposed to have great pizza, but see the motorcycles that are parked in front of it? It is a popular motorcycle destination. Come in here on a Saturday or Sunday, the bikes are lined up, up along this walk, all on the grass here tons and tons and in the back there they have music Earl's Hideaway Lounge great spot as you go up further there'll be restaurants such as uh, Captain Hiram's uh, uh, Captain Butcher's there's also Squid Lips uh, t three terrific restaurants as well that we've been to a number of times. Another restaurant is the Crab Spot that actually is called the Crab Stop. And we've eaten in there and they have a lot of fresh seafood. So another restaurant that I didn't add was, uh, is Blackfins at uh, Captain Hiram's. And also Captain Hiram's has the uh, Tiki Bar. But we're going to actually do a video just on that uh, in the future. And then another favorite spot that Betty Ann and I love to come to is Squid Lips. Squid Lips also right out on a dock area on the water. Uh, just a beautiful area. I'm actually thinking, boy, I'd, if we didn't have Nina with us, I'd want to go right in there and <laughs> have lunch now. But again. Hey, well, thanks for coming along with us on our walk up Indian River Drive in Sebastian, Florida. Uh, you got to see some of our favorite restaurants. You got to see some of the uh, great areas on a beautiful day overlooking the Indian River. And perhaps uh, you'll want to watch some more of our videos in the future. So how about uh, pressing that like button if you like the video and maybe just hit that subscribe to see videos in the future. Uh, don't forget the notification bell, because that will also let you know when we put new videos up. So again, thanks for coming along with Betty Ann, Nina, and I as we roll into retirement.